everybody, how's it going? My name is Sacklo Hunter. Welcome to the teacher again. Now, uh, I just want to say this real quick. I've been gone for about like three weeks. When I say gone, I mean like me not recording, not me not uploading. Uh, I understand that I did upload last week, but to be honest, with when I'm saying, oh god, it's been a while, it's me saying, oh god, it's been three weeks, almost a month since I've recorded. Because, dear lord, it's just been, oh, fucking hell. Like, the last episodes, those things were like, um, before I uploaded them, those were two weeks prior. I think. I don't remember. I don't know when the fuck I recorded them. But either way, I recorded them. I was like, god damn, fucking hell. Fucking tired. I've been tired pretty much all this week. My foot's been fucked up. That's why I actually did upload them. That's when I actually did work on here. Besides that, though, I have not touched anything for a while. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do two of Gotcha, two of this. People are like, why are you still doing Gotcha? What the fuck are you still doing Gotcha? But not, not really. I haven't really gotten any comments, but I've been getting a little bit of uh, hate. <laughs> not really. Um, it's just, I brought Gotcha World back because I wanted something fun in my life. And this is fun, don't get me wrong. This is also a bit uncomfortable. Like, it's... I'm sorry, the whole teacher-student relationship thing, it feels wrong. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Every kid has that little fantasy with one of their teachers. I mean, uh, I did. I had that hot teacher, but did I actually, like, you know, try to go for it? Fuck no. The woman was married. You guys are crazy. Me, I respect boundaries. But the point is... The reason it's sort of freaky is because, or the reason it's sort of disturbing is because it's like already setting up for that to happen. So that's why I'm sort of like, eh, about this story. Um, I am thinking about trying another one. Just saying, fuck the teacher and go to uh, another one that was requested. Uh, gang Wars. Um, or I think it was Gang Rivals. I don't remember which one. I think it was Gang War or Gang Rival. Um, I know it was one of them. Uh, I was debating on that or this. I think I added both of them to my... Uh, bookshelf, so then I could read them later. I don't know. In fact, I was just gonna jump in this. Just can I do Troublemaker on episodes? I did see Troublemakers. I, I am. I, I do want to see it and try it. Yeah, huh, surprised there's no music. <gasps> Another ad. Is it gonna redo the like intro? And it is okay. Great. No, it's not. I got hit with two. Okay, there's no music at the beginning. That's sort of weird. I mean. I got used to having music with them, and then my music combined, it was it's sort of weird. Oh my god! I can't believe this is my room. It's almost twice as big as my room back home. Really? Goddamn, you lived a small room then. Oh, I need to check the stereo out. Oh, yeah, this is my fucking shit. No, it's not. Best stereo ever. See, if I had a face cam, you guys would be laughing your shit out right now. Oh yeah, just dancing like crazy. God. Oh, excuse me. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Kylie. Uh, I didn't hear you come in. Um, I was just testing out the... Uh... I could tell, you little shit. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, um, it's good to see you again. Uh, how are you doing? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's going to turn it down a bit. We'll keep you right there. You're going to be fine, Kylie. I'm sure of it. I've never been without my mom for more than a week. Now she'll be gone for a year. Like, ah, oh, shit. Can I share something personal with you, Kylie? Ah, uh, sure. Well, um, I was really happy your mother chose me to be your nanny. You know why? No. Because, well, I lost my mom when I was five years old. I can really relate to your situation. You would say this now? This is your first fucking day, lady. I know you're terrifying, but I know how terrifying it is to suddenly be without her. Well, I'm sorry you lost your mom. 
Thank you. Your mom told me you just turned 13, so you're a teenager now, huh? Yeah, it's weird. How so? I don't think I'm allowed to go in detail with this in this type of episode. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah that type of shit. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. Mom said I will experience a lot of changes in my body in the next few years. And, uh, TBH, I'm kind of scared, actually. I understand. It's challenging being a teenager. Especially a girl teenager. Oh, God. I'm still a teenager myself. But you don't have to be afraid. It's all very normal, and every woman goes through these changes. See, I can make a lot of fucking jokes right now, but it's going to come out very sexist, and I'm not going to do it. Um... And don't ever hesitate to ask me if you have any questions, okay? Thank you. Uh, I was a bit afraid that I would have to ask my brother about these things. And, uh, you know, he has a penis. And that, 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 that's, that's, that's two totally different things functioning down there. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. I'm sure he would have done his best to give you a good answer. But uh, I honestly don't think guys are the best to talk to when it comes to girl problems. I know, that's what I just said, dumbass. I will kill you. I think you're right. Mia, right? Exactly. Well, thanks, Mia. I guess you're not so bad after all. For being a slut. Hey, just because I'm about to fuck your brother doesn't mean shit. Fuck you. 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 Respect! <laughs> God damn it. Sweet kid. <laughs> I think we'll get along. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna edit that, but dear lord, that's gonna be great. Yo, future cyclo, give yourself a thumb up. <laughs> God damn it. I think I need to send Kelly a text. She needs to know who I'm living with now. Oh wait, where's my phone? Oh, here we go. Hello, Kales, you there? Am I texting her or like calling her? New message from Kelly. <laughs> yeah, what's up? How am I going to tell her? Te yeah, teaser. I have some news that might interest you. Open. Okay, spill it. Oh wait, wrong voice. Okay, spill. It's about an, uh, a certain good looking teacher. <laughs> Winky. Are you serious? What are you waiting for? Tell me! Are you sure you can handle it? No, not at all, but you need to tell me immediately as in yesterday. Come on. Okay then, wink. You know Kylie, the girl I got hired to babysit? Yeah? Well, apparently she got an older brother who just moved to town. To teach at Woodstock High. Oh. My. Fucking. God. Right? Oh, shut up. God damn it. Shut up! Shut up, shut up, shut up! Oh my fucking god. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> okay, got that part right. Yep, and guess who's living with me and Kylie? That is not fair. Teardrop face. Why am I never that lucky? Like, God. Lucky? I know I'm lucky. Lucky isn't exactly the word I need, but I know I'm lucky. <laughs> God damn it, I'm making this even worse. I know I'm pretty lucky. Uh, yeah, I bet all the girls in school would kill to be you right now. Mm-hmm. New message for Kelly. So what are your plans? Are you going to take advantage of the situation? Uh, what do you mean? I mean, since your relationship is going to be more of a roommate relationship than a forbidden student-teacher relationship? Hmm. What do you say, Conscience? Should I take advantage of the situation? Okay, look, it's called the teacher for a reason. You know it's gonna happen regardless if I say yes and no. Fuck it, yes, I guess, fuck it. I guess there's no harm in flirting a bit with him, is there? 
New Mrs. from Kelly. <laughs> no harm at all, but still, be careful, Mia. I will. I don't want to lose my job, and I definitely don't want him to lose it his either. I don't know anything about him. He's probably got a girlfriend. And why would he be interested in me anyway? <laughs> there are a lot of reasons why he'd be interested in you, Mia. Thanks, Kelly. Anyway, I've got to go. I think I'll go check on Kylie. You do that, Mamma Mia! Haha, <laughs> very funny, Lady Kells. Have fun, you slut! Bitch. Hey, somehow I broke into the set of Bad Boys Girl. <laughs> I walked into the kitchen looking for Kylie, but instead I found Mrs. Collins. Wait, what? And a woman with platinum blonde hair talking loudly in the kitchen. Who's that? Wait, Mrs. Collins? Wait, what the fuck? What's with all these weird, like, hairband characters? All of a sudden, fucking Tessie's there? <laughs> what the fuck's going on? She was that kind of girl that could make almost any other girl feel insecure about themselves. She was gorgeous. She had nice hair and a killer body. She looked like a model. But her way of presenting herself left me thinking her profession was something, well, less glamorous than that of a model. Let's put it that way. Porn star! Well, I guess I better find out who she is. Wait, I thought what's her name left? Hey, Mrs. Collins, what the fuck happened to you leaving? Oh, hi, Mia. Have you met Cassie yet? No, I haven't had the pleasure. Hi, I'm Cassie. Why do you look like the last girl that was in his last series? Okay, look, I'm going to be fair with you. I need the job. I had to dye my hair and all that other shit. I, I really need the money. Okay, I don't blame you. I'm Mia, the nanny. I see you're starting to get used to your new title. Yes, definitely. I was actually looking for Kylie. Have you seen her? Ah, she's out outside of the garden. So what happened to you leaving? I thought you left. Okay, good. I just wanted to check on her. Very well, anyway, Mia Cassie is our new maid. You'll take care of the cleaning while I'm gone. Fuck! <laughs> I, th I thought you had it off on your hands with both Kylie and school. I wasn't sure of how to feel about this. It was very thoughtful of Miss Collins, but I had actually hoped to have Kylie and, well, Mr. Collins a bit to myself. I don't know, I guess I'm just feeling a bit threatened by her looks. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you, Ellie. Thank you. You're welcome, dear. Oh, well, I gotta go back to the last. I'll go, go back to the last of my things. Wait, well, I thought you just left. There are not many hours until tomorrow, unfortunately. I thought you left. Did she not leave in the last episode? I'm pretty sure she fucking left. Poor Ellie. Not only does she have to leave Kylie for many months, the reason why she's leaving must be equally as painful. True that. So, the nanny, huh? And the maid, huh? I'm lucky I got this job, to be honest with To be honest, I only wanted it because of Daryl! I was so in love with him a few years ago. I lived across the street from the Collins. Wait a minute. <sighs> I just realized something. The Collins. There was a character named... Oh no, there were stones. Never mind. So I was devastated when I heard that my future husband moved out. So when my parents told me about the calling situation that Daryl was back, uh, I knew I just got my second chance. I immediately asked Mrs. Collins if I could be of any help. Now I just have to wait for Daryl to come home from his run. I bet he can't even recognize me. I lost quite a few pounds for him. Connection! She is Tessa! <laughs> God damn it. You lost weight for him? Yes, just in case he'd come back to Woodstock someday. I've made it my mission to marry the guy. Nah, 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 nah. So don't get in my way, baby face. Oh, shit, bitch. How? Oh, I'm 18. How old are you? Well, I mean, you probably have a better chance. You're the same age. I guess my wish about having Mr. Collins and myself is out of the picture now. Well, good. 
Daryl! Cassie, what are you doing here? Hmm. Weird shit. Daryl! I bet you can tell I lost a lot of weight too, right? Uh, yeah. You look great, Cassie, I guess. Eh? Wow, she's really throwing herself at him. What should I do? Interrupt her? I'm gonna let her embarrass herself. That's what the fuck I'm gonna do. We're gonna let her embarrass her fucking self, bitches. Why did I change my voice to this? I don't know. Fuck it. Don't say anything. Oh, Miss Rose, come over here for a second. <gasps> my choices don't matter. Hey, Mr. Collins. Have you met Cassie? Yeah, we met. Me and I are gonna be the best friends. I'm not so sure about that, to be honest. Well, good, huh? Little DeBrow smiled over at me. Maybe he already knew about Cassie's hidden agenda. Anyway, uh, I need to go take a shower, ladies. I'll see you later. Listen, you little brat. I see the way you look at him. <laughs> wow, my voice went super deep. <clears throat> That's why I couldn't do it. Okay, I had to burp. I see the way you look at him. Um, how can I not? How can I not look at him that way? He's gorgeous. I don't care if you think he's gorgeous. He's mine. You're going to stay away from me. Got it? Man. Wow, I guess I made my first friend in the house. What's with the weird clothes? First day successful, completed. Only one bruised ego today, Cassie, obviously. But no fires, no casualties, so all in all, I think I've done a good job. Come in! Whoa, hey, she got back! I'm in my underwear! Hey. Hey, Mr. Collins. I just want to check on you. Is everything okay? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm in my underwear. Don't, don't do anything. I think, did it freeze? I think it froze. Oh, it didn't. Okay, I had to press something. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Uh, yes, everything is perfect. <laughs> yeah, good to hear. Uh, I'm sorry about Cassie today. She can come off as a little... I'm gonna say desperate. Desperate? I mean, uh, I would have said aggressive, but I see where you're coming from. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be assumptuous. I don't know her well enough to say that. Don't you worry about it. I know she can be a little intimidating. But it's probably only because she considers you a threat. What? You know about her feelings for you? I've known for years. Why do you think I moved? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Uh, I'm just kidding. She's a nice girl, but yes, I know about her feelings for me. Why is she talking about my about feelings with my teacher? I looked down into the floor, trying to hide my burning red cheeks. Anyway, I'll let you get to bed. Good night, Miss Rose. Good night, Mr. Collins. Hmm. Oh, um, I almost forgot. Do you want to accompany Kylie, Ellie, and I to the airport tomorrow? I would love to, thank you for asking me. Sure, uh, we're leaving at 8 a.m. Good night, Miss Rose. Good night, Mr. Collins. Why am I singing the Little Mermaid? I don't fucking know. Under the sea. God damn it. The car ride to the airport was silent and uncomfortable. Poor Kylie was obviously fighting to hold the tears back. But as soon as Miss Collins was about to board, she couldn't hold it anymore and broke down. I guess this is it, Dad. I'll be home as fast as I can. Don't you worry about that. We'll be fine. You just go and take care of Grandma for all of us. I'll miss you, Mom! Oh, sweetie, I'll miss you, boy. Dale, can I talk to you for a minute? Of course. 
It's gonna be okay, Kylie. Okay, look, I know you and Kylie have never been that close to Daryl. What? Wait, what? I know you and Kylie have never been that close to Daryl. Oh, I've never been that close, Daryl. But I need you to promise me something. Anything. Promise me you'll take care of her. Promise me you'll help me do the same. Don't let her out of your sight unless she's with somebody else. Mom, don't do this to me. I'm learned from my mistakes. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I won't let anything bad happen to her. You need to trust me now more than ever, you stuck-up bitch. I do trust you. I love you, Daryl. But not in that way, because you're my son. That's just fucking disgusting, you sick-ass bitch. I hate you. I hate you, too. You just said you love me. Shut up. Uh, God, I love you too, Mom. Take care and make sure you tell Grandma that we love her, okay? I'll tell her you said you hate her. I fucking hate you. I hate you too. Love you. Love you. <laughs> God damn it. I'm sorry. I will. I'll hold her hand for you. Huggies! <laughs> will you send Mia over here? I need to talk to her as fast as well. I will. Fuck's that thing, Miss Rose. Apparently, would like to talk to you as well. Okay, thank you, Ellie. Me, I just wanted to say that I'm counting on you, and that I think I made the right decision hiring you. Please don't prove me wrong. You can count on me, Miss Collins. That's the spirit. Now, fuck my son. What? Sorry, getting ahead of myself. We all know this gonna happen in this story. True. And Daryl can be a bit, well, uh, you know, distant sometimes. I told him to take care of Kylie, but I know he'll have a hard time doing so. Uh, they don't get along? Why is it hard for him? Don't they get along? Oh, they do. Kylie loves him, and he loves her very much. Too bad, too, but it's, it's complicated. Maybe someday he'll tell you why himself. Anyway, I just want to let you know that if he is this... Uh, distant, what, distancing himself from Kylie? Don't be too hard on him, okay? He has his reasons. Okay, I'll remember that. And one more thing, Daryl has his tendencies. Don't be surprised by his many girlfriends. Wait, what? Many girlfriends? Yeah, he practically finds a new one every week. Wow! Okay, this reminds me of my goddamn brother. <laughs> he didn't strike me as a... He's not a player or someone who doesn't respect women, Mia. He's just... Well, he's a bit lost. I just wanted to warn you. Also, because I don't want you to get hurt and leave Kylie. Miss Collins, he's my teacher. I wouldn't... I know he is, dear, but he's a good-looking guy, and I don't know you very well. But right from the start, you struck me as a mature and responsible person, so I trust you to be professional, you little shit. Of course, Kylie needs a... What? Kylie needs a more of my priorities. I won't let you down, Mrs. Collins. Ahem! <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. Make me proud, Mia, and don't forget to send me pictures. Take care, Ellie. I'm gonna die! Kylie! Ah. I fucking hate you, Bob! I'm gonna miss you, little duck! I'm gonna miss you, too, Bob! To the roar! <laughs> Be gonna be strong, my dear! Roar! That wasn't the roar! Shut up! <laughs> Time will go by fast if you expect. You can always call me too, okay? Okay, me say Bob, do the boy. Ooh. Yay. <laughs> go, God, I had to do the boy. <laughs> Passport, please. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Bye, kids. Take care, Ellie. We'll miss you. I love you, Bob. Do the roar. Roar. Yay. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> ah! Oh, God. Kylie. Let it go. She needs some time. Hmm. He took a glance out of his mother, who was waving at us as she entered the plane. I took a step closer to him. I felt like I needed to try and connect with him on this. I understand how she must be feeling. 
Oh, really? Have your mother left you for a year? His mood went instantly cold and unapproachable. Oh, no, she... But I don't think you understand. No, you're my teacher, and now my boss, but when you talk to me like that, I can't respect you. That's not the... I'm not finished. How do you even dare assuming you know me? My mother died when I was five years old. She left me for good. She's never coming back like your mom is. Oh. Oh, shit. Um, uh, Mia, I... His tone softened. I could see him swallowing. His eyes were regretful, but I don't... But I didn't care. Assuming you know someone when you do... When you don't is not fair, but this particular assumption hurt me. I didn't feel ready to tell him about my mother, and he forced me to do so in order to defend myself. What is the point of letting him get to know me if he's already made up his mind about me? Yeah, you could have avoided this if you actually cared to get to know me. Instead of making assumptions on my behalf... You're right, I, I shouldn't, I'm so sorry. It doesn't matter. At least now I know I don't have to try and get to know you. You're not interested in that. It's fine, we're established the line of personal interactions. I'll leave you alone. No, Mia! That's Miss Rose to you, Mr. Collins. Now let's find Kylie. That actually hurt like hell. Not only because I got the impression that he was a smart guy and he just proved me wrong, but mostly because I was reminded about the fact that my mother will never come back. Oh god, I'm crying. Oh shit, that's actually, that sucks. I guess that's a fact every person who lost a parent has a hard time realizing. I'll give Mr. Collins the benefit of the doubt. I'm not going to abandon Kylie because of him. Oh god, that actually got me a bit. And get me like crying big time. God damn, Aiden. I don't know if you guys can hear him, but he's going like, ooh, 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 ah. Sorry. That's just, yeah. he's, he's a crazy kid. He plays on his phone and he goes full on at it. So like what I do. I guess that's why he... God damn it. <laughs> I fucked up my nephew. Okay, well. I messed him up. <laughs> I messed him up. I made him act like I do when I play this shit. Okay, well. uh, God. That hit. That actually got me tearing up a bit. Um, it didn't tear me up like, ah, like how much Finding Paradise did, but um, nah, it got me. Um, so I'm gonna do episode, another episode of this right now. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, you know what? This thing did have a tone shift. I thought it was just mainly gonna be ah, with the teacher, but no, it's actually more in deep involved. Maybe they're actually are gonna fall in love and actually gonna try to find a way to get out of this shit. I don't know. But you know what? I probably will continue this. And I will think about doing gang rivals in the middle of doing this. I don't know. But yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, share this video with y'all's guys, friends, if you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next episode of The Teacher. Bye guys.